Hello and welcome back to this uh, rigid connection calculation example. We started to model an end plate uh, to be used for connection a beam towards a column with six bolts M20. Now uh, we are going to continue the other criteria that we need to check. To recap, HEA200 as a beam is connected by an end plate to a column HEB300. The plate is 250 mm width, 320 mm height with the thickness of 16 mm. Also, we have 6 bolts M20 with the class of 88. In the last video, we went through the compressive resistance of the web in compression. Now it's time to continue with other criteria in Eurocode 1993-18. The other criterion to be checked is the beam or column flange and web in compression. Here we can see that in our case also we have the compressive uh, force in the bottom of the uh, beam. And then here we can see which clause should be followed, 6267. In class 6267, beam flange and web in compression, the resultant of the design compression resistance of a beam flange and the adjacent compression zone of the beam web may be assumed to act at the level of the center of compression. The design compression resistance of the combined beam flange and web is given by the following expression. So uh, equation 621 should be used, FCFV meaning compression flange beam resistance design value is mcrd divided by h minus tfb where h is the depth of the connected beam is the height of the hea200 and mcrd is the design moment resistance of the beam cross section reduced if necessary to allow for shear c1993 one one for a hunched beam so it's not a hunch beam. TFB is the flange thickness of the connected beam. MCRD should be taken from 1993-11. As far as we do not have the numbers, it's better we have some kind of uh, numbers for calculation. Let's go through making one numerical frame. Assume that we have a frame with two levels, each level three meters, and the beam length from here to here, let's assume that we have seven meters. This is HEA, HEB 300. As a result, depth will be 300 millimeter. And here we have our end plate with the thickness of 16 millimeter. And then the beam length will be seven meters minus 300 minus two times 16 millimeter. So it will be 6.668 meter. 6668 plus 32 plus 300. It's seven meters. So 6.668 meter is the length of the beam. And I'm going to use two values for applying the load in both levels. Q will be taken as 15 kilonewton per meter and 20 kilonewton per meter. And later we will con uh, later we will compare the results of our hand calculation and the ANSYS model from this simple frame. So here we have also plate here and here. That's fine. What else do we need? Now, according to clause 6267, we need to calculate MCRD according to the shear force, which is coming to the connection. So for that, I believe that you are familiar with 1993 for uh, bending moment capacity. So here is the Eurocode 1993 item 1.1. Uh, here is Eurocode 1993 part 1 1 class 628 bending and shear where the shear force is present allowance should be made for its effect on the moment resistance where the shear force is less than half the plastic shear resistance its effect on the moment resistance may be neglected so here we need to check I think that the shear buckling will not be a problem for this uh, HEA 200 you can check it separately uh, for having the maximum shear force, let's continue with 20 kN. VED will be QL divided by 2. Q is 20 kN per meter. 
and the length is 6.668 meter divided by 2. So the shear force which will be transferred is 6.668 times 10 will be 66.7 kN. Now we need to calculate the shear capacity of the beam again uh, from Eurocode 1993. In item 626, we can see that VPLRD is calculated according to AV. AV is the shear area. FY divided by S square root of 3 divided by gamma M0. In this equation, AV is the shear area. You can check the shear area calculation from this 626 item, or you can go through the uh, websites like eurocodeapplied.com and find out the property of this cross section. So HEA 200 and the shear area in zeta direction is 1808 square millimeter. So we can calculate VPLRD, which is 1808 times 355 square millimeter megapascal divided by square root of 3 divided by 1. So 1808 355 divided by square root of 3 is 370 kilonewton. Now we have VED, which was about 67, and we have VPLRD. Now we can calculate the utilization ratio which is VED divided by VPLRD, and that is 66.7 divided by 370. So it is only 18% and it is less than 50%. So then the effect of shear force can be neglected. After that, we have to determine the bending moment capacity. It is given in Eurocode 1993-11625, and MCRD is determined according to the cross-sectional class. So here cross-section of HEA200 is cross-section 2. As a result, we can go with plastic. Capacity W plastic of this cross-section is given in this table. 429.5. 10 power by 3 millimeter power by 3. So now MCRD can be calculated as given in equation 613, 429, 355 megapascal divided by gamma m0, which is 1. 429.5, so it is 152.5 kilonewton meter. Now we have MCRD, and we can come back to the given equation. FCFBRD, according to equation 621 152.5 kilonewton meter divided by the total depth is 190 millimeter here we can check also minus 10 millimeter so it is 847 kilonewton it means that if all components are completely rigid in a way then the force that bottom flange including the web can with a stand is 847 kilonewton. We calculated earlier also the compressive resistance of the column web in the previous video, which was 783. So FCWCRD 783 kilonewton from previous video. So between these two, the minimum is the capacity of the compressive side. So according to these two parameters, we can see that the maximum capacity in compression is 783. If we sketch our question from here, from the web side of the column, this area has the capacity of 783. And from the beam side, it has the capacity of 847 for here. So now between these two, the minimum is taken as the maximum compressive resistance. So compressive resistance is 783 kN. That's the end of this video. We went through the resistance of compressive side of the beam, including the flange and web together. In the next video, we will continue with the shear resistance of the web, which will be the last item to be calculated before we calculate the bending moment design resistance of the connection. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.